So looking at uh, FS Start Utils, actually, what this is really aimed at corporate. If you're in a corporate environment where you've got a proxy server and the, you're doing Android and iOS development and Flutter, and it's kind of a really a pain in the neck, um, you can try and load the certs. And uh, we uh, I've actually done that successfully, but it turns out it can be a real hassle. Um, so what I ended up what I end up doing is I have a HTTP override config that's only enabled in debug mode, and um, it gives you the ability to exclude only certain domains from the uh, certificate verification so that internal API servers with had, which have self-signed search you can still hit without having to load the certificates. Um, but it only worked for, for the domains that you pick and so that won't be a problem on the outside. Um, it should only be your internal servers. Uh, and so the other part that it does is it lets you configure a proxy for your mobile app into Flutter. And that way I don't have to go and like, I had some trouble rebooting my emulator or simulator continually and then the proxies wouldn't get set up. And so this is optional if you had a proxy. Um, by default it uses, on iOS it uses localhost and that would be the development machine because it's a simulator. And on the Android it's an emulator and so that actually is a device and so it sets up an extra 10.0.2 network. And then, uh, so anyway, so what you do is you just, let me show you how this thing's called. So if we look at success with the exclusion here, we basically, we just create a, H, you set the HTTP override global to be one of these objects and you give it whatever the excluded domains are. And if you need a proxy port configured for your environment, you just pass in the proxy port and boom, you'll be able to make a request. So in this case, uh, this bad, uh, wrong host bad SSL.com has actually got a bad certificate and I excluded it and I can still make a request with no problem. And then I can also have a test where we go against that same host. Uh, and in this case, we don't exclude it. And so the test fails. So basically all this thing does, you new up one of these objects and basically you call create context and what this thing's going to do is it's going to create an HTTP context. It creates a bad certifi certificate callback handler and it just check and it looks at the list of elements of uh, domain names and it looks if any of the, if the host you're currently hitting ends with that, it'll ignore the certificate. And then if a proxy port's been set, it just actually uses one of the two proxies in the proxy port and it sets it and boom, you've got the ability to talk through a proxy like on your local machine out without having to do anything on the, and remember the browser in the mobile device might have to be configured differently. This is really aimed at mobile app deployed on that. And then you can ignore your uh, development search. Uh, the link is in the video.